So this started out as a four foot fiberglass stand up shower in this space. Um, there was nothing up above it and there was a one foot wide um, bulkhead built over here to hold that four foot fiberglass tub because this is a five foot opening. So um, we took that out, put the cabinets in here the way that he wanted. These are um, very, very strong. He needed to put his vacuum cleaners over there. She has some comforters that are in our uh, bedding sets that are in some big bags that needed to go there. Um, also things like uh, shampoos and stuff. So we custom built this area to their specifications to, to make it work for them. Of course you can do it uh, anyway. Um, we put the tile in there where it was. We do have a transition, but you can't see it because uh, when the doors are closed, there is no, uh, you can't see the inside tile from the outside. Up above here, um, this is removable where the two knobs are. You can pull that slat out and there's storage up there all the way back as deep as this closet is, one giant storage space. Um, so uh, they could have extra in here instead of just not using the space. We put a low ceiling in this closet. Um, so where the garden tub was, um, was here. So um, this was a five foot opening space the garden tub set underneath this uh, window here. Uh, so basically we pulled the garden tub out. Uh, we put dual shower heads run by two different um, faucets, uh, two different water supply lines uh, so they can have equal pressure coming off of the three quarter line. Um, we run, this is a Italian, imported Italian um, stone you can get from, from Lowe's, the same with the floor. Um, the floor is a little bit different in this one than we normally do. We normally put in a, a hair trap drain in the middle, but uh, this is called a channel drain. Um, basically, uh, all the water from the whole shower funnels to here and you don't have a curb to have to step over. So it creates a um, um, less hazardous way to get in and out of the shower. It is more expensive than the other part because of the pitch, uh, especially when you're tying into existing tile without the option of uh, uh, being able to do it all at once. Uh, with that said, this is removable. Um, they come in different finishes, uh, but it's real cool. You can make them for uh, handicapped shower situations. Um, this is a uh, it's traver real true travertine inside of this with the glass mix. So you have um, inferior marble and then travertine in the noche and the chario colors, which basically uh, mimic what we have here. So it ties in really well together. Ran the tile on a brick pattern uh, around the, the shower, even the, past the deco strip. Um, we still kept it the brick pattern. Did the brick pattern on the ceiling with the shower proof brush nickel um, light uh, to match the um, fixtures in here. Inside of the window, we cased all of that out with the um, bull nose so that uh, all of that's um, watertight and everything. And if you um, look inside of these two walls that we built, um, there is the niche, uh, and in back of the niche we have the um, same deco strip as, as the floor tile is and everything. So um, bull nose around both of those. And we hit them inside of these um, walls here so that the people that come in to see the bathroom don't have to uh, see what kind of stuff you have in your shower. And this is a bench here that we do as well. It's Most of my videos you see it's all um, open underneath here, but um, th this one here is just solid all the way down. Uh, some people like the other one for the, the storage, but uh, it's a personal preference thing. Um, this is a really cool um, shower wand. It can either be rain shower, uh, you can have the wand, or you can have them both at the same time um, coming on you. So that really uh, solves the problem of having um, a lot of water flow. Um, so. Uh, the last thing we did was put the same tile in the floor in the closet. And, um, this is another remodel project that we're doing contracting. Thanks for watching our video. Please leave comments and subscribe.